What's up guys, my name is Will Cashin, aka White Trash Willie, and today I'm going to be talking about skinny wheels, aka normal wheels, 24 millimeters wide, versus fat wheels that are 30 millimeters wide. So yeah, I'm going to jump right into this. The average wheel, like I said before, is 24 millimeters wide. This is like river wheels. This is an Eagle Matt McKee, Matt McKee Holotech, 24 millimeters wide. Most every single scooter wheel you've ever ridden is 24 millimeters wide. Now, Ethic makes 30 millimeter wide wheels, and maybe a few other companies, it wouldn't surprise me. But every single company that makes them, it's awesome. I totally back every company. I don't have any Ethic ones or Urban Art ones or any other companies uh, right now. I just have these Eagle ones, so this is what I'm gonna be comparing right now. Now, wide wheels are, are game-changing wheels because you just have way more urethane and way more traction in just every single trick that you do. You can land kind of sketch, you'll still be able to maintain your traction just because you have that much extra urethane on the edge of the wheel compared to a normal wheel where you don't have as much. Although these wheels may be a little bit heavier, it doesn't add that much more weight to your scooter. Yeah, it doesn't add any more weight to be honest. If anything, it just makes your whips come around easier because you have more momentum in the back of your deck. Yeah, nothing to complain about the weight, so don't even worry about that. Um, these Eagle wheels use normal uh, bearings, just whatever bearings would come in these wheels, like put these bearings in it, any bearings. But the Eagle Radix wheels do come with a spacer, so when you do put your normal bearings in there, you'll need to put a special spacer in there that'll fit. A downside of fat wheels is it's kind of hard to put on your scooter right now. There's not a lot of components that work with it. I know District's making forks for wide wheels, Eagle's making forks for wide wheels. So don't worry, your, your wide forks will be coming out soon. And the good news is, most wide wheels works, works on most decks, excluding TSIs and a few others, but most every other deck does. I know grit decks do, uh, AOS decks do, district decks do, lots of decks do. Don't even worry, AO decks do. So don't even worry, you'll be able to make these wheels fit on your scooter with just slight modification. And if you guys want a video about that, I can show you guys how to put wide wheels on your scooter if you want a video. Next, I'm just going to be talking about just proving how, they, how they're good. Now, let's just take a step back. Let's look into the bike world really quick. In the bike world, there's lots of different types of bikes. There's mountain bikes, road bikes, cruiser bikes, BMX bikes. There's just lots of different bikes out there. And if you look at the difference between bikes, one of the main differences is the thickness of the wheels. If you look at a mountain bike or a BMX bike compared to a road bike or a cycle cross bike, the wheels are fatter compared to skinnier. And if you look at mountain biking and BMXing, that's more of a freestyle sport, unlike road biking, cyclocross, or another type of bike that uses skinny wheels. That They're more about going distances and speeds, but we're more about going all-terrain, different obstacles, different stuff like that. So it's only natural that we would have wide wheels like a BMX bike or a mountain bike. You have just way more traction, you have a less of a chance of dehubbing your wheels and chunking just because you have literally six more millimeters of surface area on just the core that your your thing is going to be gripping to so dehubbing a wheel i've never seen a radix wheel dehub before i'm going to be honest with you i have seen one chunk but never dehub so very that's very very awesome couldn't complain these wheels will just elevate your riding to the next level if you're somebody that likes to ride tranny a lot likes to go over boxes likes to pump bowls these wheels will make your pumping just so much faster. You'll be able to like maintain your speed so much quicker than a normal wheel. It's just kind of frightening. You can ask Cam Ward if you ever see him, or you can ask myself to, to like try our scooters and just feel it for yourself. It's just, it, it's pretty crazy. All right, so the Eagle Radix wheels come 115 millimeters in diameter. Uh, this is kind of an awkward size, and by awkward I don't mean awkward at all. It's actually the most perfect size in my opinion, but it's just an awkward size compared to other scooter wheels. Now 115, in my opinion, is the best because I think, my personal own opinion, don't get heat, don't get triggered like Scooter Brad says, don't get triggered. I like 115 more than 110 and 125 just because 125 just feel too tall. I feel like I'm too high off the ground. It's harder for manuals for me. And 110 millimeters just kind of feels like a small wheel. But 115s by 30s, they they're just the perfect ratio wheels in my opinion. They they take a little bit to get used to, but once you get used to them. It's unreal, just like titanium bars or a wide deck, in my opinion. These wheels are like custom wheels. I made these myself. If you want to go watch how I made these wheels, I actually made a video about making them. But the normal Radix wheel is going to look like this, white urethane, black core, and then you have the DTM wheels that are the half holotech, half, half spoked, and they have some dual urethane ones coming soon. If you guys are curious in getting wide wheels, I would definitely, definitely suggest it. Um, don't even hesitate. It may be a little bit of an issue getting them onto your scooter, but if you have the right fork and you have the right spacers to figure the back of your deck, should be a problem at all. It uses the, it uses the same size uh, grade eight axle that would go through any other normal wheel. Um, it's just it's a little bit wider. 
That's the only difference. It doesn't have bigger bearings, unlike the Ethic wheels. Part of me wishes these wheels had bigger bearings. I definitely feel like bigger bearings are the next step in our sport. Uh, I think that the fact that we use skateboard size bearings is kind of ridiculous. Still, com comparing to like a bike that uses bigger bearings, but hey, one thing after another. Let's get the wide wheels out first, and then we should get the bigger bearings. So. That's just my opinion, that's how I think it should be. If you guys have any questions about wide wheels, any personal questions, any just things you're curious about, don't be afraid to DM me on Instagram, at WhiteTrushWheelie, and I'll answer your question, no doubt. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you like this video, make sure to thumbs up it, make sure to subscribe for other videos, go check out other videos if you like skits and funny things, if you have a sense of humor. So yeah, until next time, guys, peace out.